Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little antique uh, mall haul, as well as um, a, another little find that I got on my trip to go to my son's graduation. They have an awesome antique mall there, but we also went to a nursery to buy onion sets and potatoes for her garden. And um, they had a gift shop, but you know, by where you pay in this nursery. And look what I found. I was so excited. I found some Cavallini stamps and they just have really, really fun stamps in them. It's, it just says Paris rubber stamps and they're, and they're um, Cavallini and company. So that's fun. We'll be having ourselves a play with those soon. And then I found this, um, this wonderful uh, Del Monte Kitchens cookbook. And it is, it's a three ring binder rather than a five, but look at the, um, the dividers have pockets in them. So I thought that was really fun. And the illustrations in here are really cool. I, I really like the illustrations. So yet another journal for Gail to make and or I'll sell it in my Etsy, one or the other. <laughs> um, a lot of this stuff is going to go to my Etsy, but um, but not this this next restock. I have all that stuff, the listings done and I'm I just have to do the video, which hopefully will happen soon and um anyway so this is i'm just showing you what i got and it'll be coming to etsy later on um i found a couple of doilies that that i thought were really fun and i thought might make their way to my etsy if i do another doily kit so love those found those I found some trim in case, I, once again, I may do another trim digital and I just, I love this trim. It's so pretty. I, I really love turquoise, red and yellow together. It's just one of my favorite combos and there's lots of this. So I may be sharing some of the physical item on my Etsy as well. And then speaking of digital kits, uh, I have a lot of cabinet cards and I really um, I'm really wanting to do a digital with them and I found some more aren't these great um, found some more at the antique mall and so I picked them up because I thought they they might be fun look at look at this one look at the back isn't that super cool love it so Anyway, there you have it. I, those those things may, may be finding their their way to digital. And then I found these flashcards, which they don't really have a date on them, but they were really yellowed, and so I loved them. <laughs> so grab those, and well, um, there's a lot of them. So I may be offering some of those on my Etsy too. So found those found these magazines they're called coronet and this is the newest one it's 1941 this one's 1937 and these three are 1939 super cool i will not thumb through them because there's art in here there's art in here <laughs> And um, I had to redo the video because there's there's some there's some nude art too. So, but there's also there's also stories and um, just some interesting just some interesting photos and that kind of thing. So, um, so those I found. And then look at this, you guys! I found so many Paco funds. And I've had these in my shop before. And let's see, this one is 1957, 1959 in here. Um, and this is 1960, 62. So these are the 60s. It looks like 61. 
and um, there's a lot of them. So I'm excited about that because these always go really quickly in my Etsy and um, I don't always have enough to go around for all the people that want them. So I'm excited about that. So have those two stacks. And then um, the last couple things, I found this um, little golden book, Birds, and it's Eloise Wilkins. And you know, I'm just crazy about her. And I've never, I have, I don't have this one. 1979. Look at that. All the sweet illustrations. And I love that it's it's bird related. So look at that sweet girl. So anyway, found this golden book and I th the antique mall had a bajillion golden books, but I'm really not buying anymore because I have enough. <laughs> but I couldn't resist this one because I love her illustrations so much and it was about birds. So love that. Excited about that. And then I found these two things, which um, have um, been kind of a popular thing in in journals. And this is Burlington Northern, which is the train line out west here. And um, these are train men's time slips. And so I have two big things of them. So I think I should I think I should be able to share. So those two, and I think that's it. That's it. But I wanted to come on and just quick show you because antique store, um, store finds are so much fun. And it was, it was so nice of my husband to humor me. He, it's not his favorite thing to go through the antique mall, but he did it. And I was so appreciative. So anyway, that's what I got. Thanks for joining me. And we'll just see you next time. Bye everybody.